Hi, hi students. This is Dr. Badrinath and today's topic is a branded versus generic drugs. Branded drugs versus generic drugs. Okay. Right. See, my dear students, uh, branded, this is a branded drug. So feel better. You will feel definitely better. Uh, and this is a feel good. This is a, so almost both are almost the same. I can say 99% same, almost all. So in this video, I will tell you what are the same. What are the differences? How we have to develop a generic product, okay? Which is equivalent to the branded drug. I will tell you everything. I will tell you detail, okay? Feel good. This is a branded drug. Is, if suppose a branded drug is 10 rupees. Generic drug is only 2 rupees. So I prefer with the generic drugs only. So that's why most of the doctors are they're writing a prescription generic drugs only. It's affordable to the common man also. But however, keep in your mind, if you have a lot of money, very huge uh, money, then you can be go for a branded. That's your wish. That's your wish. Okay, right. Uh, right. What are the same? What are the differences? See, active ingredients, suppose a paracetamol, active ingredients, same. Both are having a same. Generic drug, branded drug, both are same. Dosage form also same. If it is a tablet, that is also a tablet. If it is a capsule, that is also a capsule. Okay. Strength, 500 mg. This is a 500 mg. This is also 500 mg. Strength is also equal. Route of administration. It is a oral route. This is also oral route. Quality, purity is same purity. Stability also same. Safety also same. Efficacy, therapeutic effect also same. See, then you might have a question. What are the differences? Excipients may be different. Excipients like a binding agent, so glide and so disintegrating agent, so may be different. Preservative may be different. Coloring agents may be different. Size of a tablet may be different. Shape of the tablet may be different. Packing may be different. Closing the close, uh, container system, label may be different. Label design. Price is completely different actually. That is 10 rupees. This is a 2 rupees. Okay, manufacturing methodology also may be different, but see here you can see the definition of a generic product is essentially identical to the branded drug product in terms of equivalent dosage form, route of administration, quality, safety, efficacy, and therapeutic action. See, this is my mobile. This is app, my mobile app. You can be download it from the Google Play Store and go to the store option. So here I have arranged all my presentations in the form of PDF in the respective courses, whichever you want, you can be selected. This is my YouTube channel. I am explaining all pharmacy videos, BPOMC, MPOMC, all pharmacy videos, okay? And uh, playlist, go to the playlist option. There, here, I arranged everything. Uh, Subject-wise, if you click on each subject, you will get a topic-wise. Here, this is your syllabus. Here, you can see innovator and generics. Innovator is nothing but a branded generics. Okay. Concept of generic, generic product development. So, here, what are the uh, contents I covered? What are the same? What are the differences? Branded versus generic, generic product development, generic drug filing in India. How to file? Generic drug uh, filing in USFDA. Everything will see. See, my dear students, so this branded is having a different names. These names are very important. Branded name, also called as an innovator, also called as a proprietary drug product, also called as a reference product, first marketed product, also called NDA, new drug application. Here you can see a definition. And 20 years market king, 20 years, because it is having a patent. It is a king. Really, it was a king for 20 years. Whatever you have put a price, same price the people has to purchase. Patent, because it is having. Once the patent is expired, then generics will start. Generics, plenty of generic companies, pharmaceutical companies, they are waiting and they are preparing the generic medicine. It is, this is called as the opposite, non-innovator, non-proprietary. It is a test product, subsequent marketed product, not first market, subsequent. ANDA, abbreviated new drug application. This is a definition. Allowed for a sale only after the patent half original drug expires. Okay, right. See, my dear uh, students, research, uh, see, branded drug, why it is costly? Because they have done first product came into the market. 
because they did a long term research for years whereas uh, this is one year is enough for generic product i will tell you why see pre clinical studies are compulsory here uh, efficacy studies therapeutic action efficacy means safety compulsory in the animals pre clinical means animals before the humans pre clinical okay uh, need to study in the animal here no need see how much time is saved here clinical studies in the humans compulsory safety efficacy here not compulsory adm studies mandatory absorption distribution metabolism here not mandatory bioavailability studies are compulsory here only bioequivalence studies are compulsory this topic is very very important i have already uploaded video that you can be watching bioequivalent your generic product must be bioequivalent 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 with the branded drug then only government will give you approval okay huge investment here only less investment costly very cheaper okay only one product is available only one branded product is available always which came into the market that is the first patent protected up to whether it may be a, generally it will be a 20 years okay number of generic products are available in the market keep in see up to 20 years this is a king branded is a king celebrating 20 years celebrating no one no one uh, is a competitor whatever the price is next after completion of 20 years all companies are waiting to prepare a generic which is bio equivalent uh, to the branded product this is the generic product development uh, a and this call is also called as a ada filing regulatory department uh, approved a new drug application generic drug filing a and da filing see all are same branded drug patent expires in 20 years from the date of patent approval once after completion of patent period manufacturers of different companies can start the production of the same drug with other expands okay many companies focus on a and da instead of nda because more profits a and da less investment more profits generic product development first you have to make a before bioequivalence you better to go for d dissolution equivalence first okay branded product drug product curve dissolution curve dissolution profile you can be did in vitro you can be do you conduct the dissolution studies for both branded you purchase the branded drug and you prepare your own generic drug and you compare both okay then if it is then no problem once the dissolution profile is matched c max u t max u everything etc then no problem almost bioequivalent so you can start the bioequivalent uh, a generic product must be bioequivalent with the approved or proprietary drug. BE in humans, you have to be conduct bioequivalent rate of absorption. See, bioequivalence means both rate of absorption, extent of absorption must be same. What is the rate of absorption? Speed at which the drug is absorbed into the blood. Okay, speed, speed, speed. Next, to extent means amount of the drug which is entered into the blood circulation. This is also, I have made video of bio. So biopharmaceutics videos, you can be watch it and you can enjoy the videos. This bioequivalence concept came from Hutch-Watchman amendments. Hutch-Watchman amendments, very, very important. He only introduced that. He only told that generic product must be bioequivalent with the branded one. Then only immediately market. You can apply to the government, regulatory authority, and you get approval and immediately start manufacturing and marketing. You are only the legs. Okay? No rules for orphan drugs, OTC drugs is different. See, this is a generic drug product development. First, you, whenever you want to do a copy, innovator product, you purchase it. How to purchase? Purchase at least three lots. Batches will be there, no? Three different batches of the same uh, company, the same brand, same uh, smallest and the largest pack. Suppose 200 mg, 500 mg available. 200 mg minimum, you have to purchase a three from different lots. 500 mg also you have to purchase a largest packs, smallest packs. Okay, brackets, that is called as a bracket. Lowest strength, 100 mg. Highest strength, 500 mg. Both are available. Uh, it, it is available in different strength. So purchase the lowest strength, purchase the highest strength. Okay, for each product strength, three lots. Develop your FRD, formulation, develop, your product, generic product, you develop it. Develop the same dosage form, use different excipients. Experience compatibility study in your generic product. You can use the DSC studies, differential scanning colorometry, DDA, thermal, differential thermal analysis, thermal methods of analysis, FTIR studies, Fourier inform transform, chromatography, TLC, HPTLC. See, you have to prove that there is no drug drug interaction. There is, sorry, there is no drug experience interaction in your generic product. 
make it d studies first dissolution equivalent you have first so that bio equivalence become easy pilot b studies you have to be conduct like a fasting condition you have to select a human beings you have to for you have to divide into groups okay parallel studies cross over design everything okay you have to do you have to divide the human beings into two batches for one batch you give a branded drug for another batch you can give a that is another one that is also i have uploaded video in the bio equivalence studies you can be watch it uh, volunteers you have to select how to select a volunteer how to select a patient so either we have to conduct in a patient or how that and all i have given analytical method development r and d for your generic product which method analytical method you have used and filing to a regulatory authorities yeah this is in india how to file very very important cdsco is very very important a and d application for m and m permission m and m means manufacturing and uh, marketing uh, a and d application uh, filing to the cdsco through the ctd ect this video is also available you watch it ctd common technical document ectd ka details what you have to submit to the cdsco central drug standards control organization this is a very very important uh, that is video is also available okay api details active pharmaceutical ingredient cmc section 3 chemistry manufacturing controls quality it's nothing but quality it consists of formulation composition man manufacturing process control stability data accelerated stability studies bio equivalence report very very important ct report clinical toxicology if suppose clinical toxicology need only if product is first time in india branded drug is there in the abroad patent is expired now you want to manufacture and you want to market in india then you what you have to do? you purchase those product and you have to conduct the ct studies also if you want your generic product is first in india then you have to do this ct inspections of the plant cdsc officials they will come and they will inspect your plants and finally they will give approval dcj a director drug control and general of india that you know cdsc central drug standards control organization this is about us fda applicants a and d application to the fda food and drug administration that you know very well forwarded to ogd what is ogd here i have given office of generic drugs cdr center for drug evaluation and research okay review by ogd cf bio equivalence studies very very important bio bio equivalence studies very very important is bio equivalence studies okay marketing approval marketing approval uh, uh, that is also compulsory finally they will give approval for that key section number is no listed patients a and d a submission key section numbers are this uh, whenever you are applying a usfda these sections are important go through this section para 1 para 2 para 3 para 4 no listed patients sometimes patients uh, patents is not there directly you can apply for patent para 2 listed patent the branded drug patent is expired para 3 uh, patent will expire on particular date okay uh, so you are ready by this time next month uh, number of branded drugs are going to expire that you, you are started start it immediately patent patent is uh, whether invalid or valid or will not be in sometimes uh, patent they have branded drug but it is invalid it becomes invalid in the court uh, first they have given patent but later court has declared that uh, that patent is not valid because they cheated the court in such a cases this is a pair of road like that you have to apply and uh, you can be uh, so i will end my session here